Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So if you're new to my channel then please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell button besides it so that you get notified whenever I push up a new video. So students today we are going to find or rather today we are going to understand how to find determinants okay. So whenever we find determinants we this particular topic of determinant is actually closely related related to the topic of matrices okay and what is a determinant it is nothing but uh, we can say a unique number which represents a matrix okay so here you have to understand whenever you have to find a determinant you can find the determinant only and only of a square matrix okay please understand if the matrix in question is not a square matrix then you won't be able to find a determinant okay now how do you represent a determinant you represent the determinant as nothing but uh, let's say we want to represent a determinant of matrix A. So we represent it this way or we also can represent it this way as well. That is writing det dot A. Okay. Now let's see how do we find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. Okay. So we have 1, 2, 5, 0. Okay. And this matrix let's say it is P. So, what is the determinant of P? Sorry, this is, can be nothing but, we do a cross multiplication, okay? First things first. So, 1 into 0 and 2 into 5. And the sign between the cross multiplication or between these two brackets is always minus for a 2 by 2 matrix. So, here we get 0 minus 10. So, your answer is minus 10. Students, please understand your determinant can have any value. Okay. It can be real number. It can be all real numbers, complex numbers, anything. Okay. So, you don't need to worry on that. Now, let's take another example. What will be the determinant of 1, 2, 4 and 8? So, here we'll again have 1 into 4 that is 4. And 2 into a that is 16. The sign in between will be minus. So 4 minus 16 is nothing but minus 12. Okay. Now this is for a 2 by 2 matrix. Okay. Now let's see what happens when we have a 3 by 3 matrix. So let's say we have a matrix which is R. And the elements are minus 1, 2, 3. And 2, 1, 1. And 1, 2, 1. Now, when I want to find the determinant, we'll put the entire element in two bars like this. We'll copy the elements as it is. Okay. Now, please understand, there is a certain sign symbol which goes when you find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. Okay. So... Here I can say the first number will be taken as positive, next is negative and then it is positive. And for the second row, if we take the second row into consideration while taking the determinant, then we first take, take the first element as negative, then the next element as positive and then the last element as negative. And if we take the third row, then we have the first element as positive, then the second element as negative and the third element as positive. Meaning... Whenever I take all these elements, the signs with each row associated or rather when I take any data, while taking the determinant, I will consider one particular row. So if I'm taking the first row, then the sign of the first element will be taken as positive, the second element as negative and the third element as positive. Similarly, the, for the second row and for the third row. Okay. Now, let's take for example, I'm using the first row. So, here I am going to write plus and the first element is minus. So, I am just going to keep it as minus 1. 
and then I will write down the elements which will be taken for this particular row. So let's say this minus 1 is the first row, first element in the first row and the first column. So we are going to strike that out. Okay. So what are the elements which are left is nothing but 1, 1, 2, 1. So I am going to write that down. Now the next element which I am taking is nothing but 2. But the sign associated with the middle element over here is negative. So I am going to take a negative 2. And then we are going to strike out the first row and the second column. Why like that? Because 2 is belonging to the first row and the second column. So the elements which I am left with 2, 1, 1 and 1. So 2, 1, 1 and 1. Now the next element is 3 and the sign associated with 3 will be positive. So we will take plus 3. Now we are going to strike out first row and the last column. So the elements I am left with is 2, 1, 1 and 2. 2, 1, 1 and 2. So now let's do this. Again, we will do the cross multiplication. So, 1 into 1 is 1 and 2 into 1 is 2 and the sign in between will be minus. Then minus 2 which gets multiplied by 2 into 1 is 2 and 1 into 1 is 1 and the sign is minus. Plus 3, we have 2 into 2 which is 4 and 1 into 1 which is 1 and the sign is minus. So, minus 1 into 1 minus 2 is nothing but minus 1. So, that becomes minus 1 into minus 1. Minus 2 into 1 plus 3 into 3. So, I have minus 1 minus 2. Sorry, minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1. Minus 2 plus 3. So, my answer is 1 minus 2 is nothing but or uh, 1 minus 2 is minus 1 plus plus. Sorry, this is 9. I am so sorry. So, 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Plus 9 is getting you 8. Okay. So, students, this way you saw that these signs are very important. Okay. I will show you what happens when you take this particular row. Okay. And we will see how these signs work in that case as well. Also, students, if you like the way I am explaining, then don't forget to hit the like button. and. Uh, Share these videos with whomever you think this might be very, very helpful. Okay. Now, we, like I said, we are going to take the second row into consideration. The sign associated with the first element of second row is minus. So, we are going to take minus 2. And let's see what elements will come. Okay. So, we are going to strike out the second row and the first column. Why? Because 2 was the element which was in the second row and the first column. So, the elements which I am left with is 2, 3 and 2, 1. 2, 3 and 2, 1. Now, the next element is plus 1 and the sign associated with is plus. So, we are going to write down plus 1. Now, let's see what elements we are left. We are going to strike out the second row and the second column. So, we get minus 1, 3, 1 and 1. Minus 1, 3, 1 and 1. Okay. Now, the next Element is 1 and the sign associated with is minus. So, we will write minus 1. Now, let's see what elements we are left with. We are left with, uh, so we are going to strike out the second row and the last column. So, we are left with minus 1, 2, 1 and 2. Correct? Now, let's do the calculations. Minus 2, 2 into 1 is 2, 2 into 3 is 6 and the sign is minus. Plus 1. Minus 1 into 1 is minus 1. Plus 1 into 3 is, sorry, 1 into 3 is 3. And the sign associated is minus. Minus 1 into, minus 1 into 2 is minus 2. And 1 into 2 is 2. And the sign associated is minus. Okay. So here we have minus 2 into 2 minus 6 is minus 4 and plus 1, minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4, minus 1, minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4. So, again we have minus 2 into minus 4 is getting you 8, 1 into minus 4 is minus 4, minus 1 into minus 4 is plus 4. So, this gets cancelled. So, you are left with 8. 
So here you saw that you are getting the same answer irrespective of which row you took into consideration. Okay, but just remember if you take whatever row you take or whatever column you take, you have to ensure these signs are carried forward as well. Okay, students, uh, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like these videos because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in keeping doing these kind of work. Also, do hit the subscribe button because it is absolutely free. Okay, I will see you in the next one. See you.